Michael, what are you doing for spring break? Oh, well, I might go to Puerto Rico. Oh, I'm bringing democracy to Syria via Instagram. <laughs> oh, look, it's Karina. Karina! It was reported today that Boko Haram has joined forces with the terrorist group ISIS. Here with her thoughts on the subject is the girl you wish you hadn't started a conversation with at a party. <laughs> Thank, all right, sure, whatever. So, what do you think about this Boko Haram situation? What do I think about it? Yeah. I think it's an excusative, okay? It's a catastrophe. <laughs> it's unimaginable. Just look at the statistics, Michael. <coughs> For every 10 people, there are 20 people. And what? We're just supposed to give them all the death penalty? No, like, America needs to grow up. But also, like, it needs to look like 15 years younger. I just friended you. Is that me? <laughs> I'm sorry, is this still about Boko Haram? Open your eyes, Michael. Measles, Ebola, charter school. Sometimes I'm like, Salami Hussein was right. <laughs> and in healthcare, everyone's talking about HMOs. Um, how about just calling them gay people? <laughs> Okay, I don't think anyone is following what the hell you're saying Michael, right now. How would you feel if I went into your neighborhood and burned your house down? I'd feel bad? Exactly. And that's exactly how they feel. Who? Fires. That's like, if you took all the homeless women in the world and stacked them on top of each other, Jenga, Michael. Jenga. <laughs> so, can I do a cartoon of Muhammad real quick? No! All right, fine. But I need to give you this thing my friend Rodney printed out. It's like, it's map quest directions, but like, nobody knows where it leads. It says it on here. It's directions to a Forever 21. By the way, Michael, what are you doing for spring break? Oh, well, I might go to Puerto Rico. Oh, I'm bringing democracy to Syria via Instagram. <laughs> oh, look, it's Karina. Karina! Are you dancing? Oh, she's having a tiny seizure. <laughs> okay, I think you just need to go. Yeah, actually, I do need to go, Michael, because some of us are actually solving progress. Because <laughs> if we don't, in 800 years, our children won't even be alive. So can I draw a cartoon Muhammad real quick? No! All right, fine. Then close your eyes. Open them. Close them. Open just the left. Wink at me. Congratulations. That's assault. <laughs> the girl you wish you had to start a conversation with at a party, everyone. The San Francisco Police Department is reviewing thousands of cases to see if the arrests were racially biased. Here to comment on this delicate subject are two girls you wish you hadn't started a conversation with at a party. <laughs> Namaste, Michael. This is Mackenzie. She's my best friend. And fingers crossed, her stepmom. <laughs> and what do you guys think of this uh, police review? What we think about it, it's irrational. <laughs> it's reprehensible. We're Nepal. And what? We're gonna put body cameras on cops now? Oh, like we don't watch enough TV already. And it's like Bruce Jenner's allowed to be a transformer? <laughs> but our climate's not allowed to change? That's hippopotamus. Michael, fact. One in five homeless people are actually millionaires, and they don't even know it. <laughs> so if you see section, say something. <laughs> Oh, your phone is buzzing. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's Tiger Woods. Okay. <laughs> Can we please focus here? Oh, fine. Oh, Amber! 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 Wait, Amber! Over here! Who are you talking to? Our other friend, Amber. Yeah, we couldn't find her earlier, so we put out an Amber alert. <laughs> okay. That is not what that's for. Quick, Michael, who are you voting for in the 2016 election? Well, it's pretty early, but I'm I... voting for the Sudan. <laughs> oh, but I'm sure Hillary Clinton is starving kids, too. Okay, look. Shh, I... shh, shh, wait. We want to show you a new game, Michael. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Who won? Well, rock beats scissors, so... Wrong. 
Justice. Time for peace. So the only loser here is the children. And the future. And you, Michael. <laughs> oh, wait. Tiger's downstairs, girl. We gotta go. All right. Two girls at a party, everyone. Amber! Amber! Primaries have been especially divisive this year. Here with her take is the girl you wish you hadn't started a conversation with at a party. Just so you know, if it were up to me, every year would be Black History Month. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, what do you think about the primaries so far? What do I think about them? They disgust me. The candidates are truly appulsive. And now Ben Carson's just pulling out, and we're supposed to believe that's the most effective form of birth control? No. It's like, no wonder everyone has the Zima virus. And it's like, maybe Leo Caprio's right. Bears. <laughs> okay, so I take it you're disappointed with the candidates? People need to start paying attention, Michael. When the alarm goes off, stop hitting the skews button. Because there are women in Africa right now who have to walk three miles just to see Zootopia. <laughs> And newsflash, Michael, you haven't even asked me if I'm transgendered yet. Are you transgendered? How dare you ask me that? What are you doing? I just Snapchatted you, but your face is a tiger and I'm normal. Cool. So are you voting Democrat? Or... Why do we have to labia everything, Michael? Like, why can't there be a black James Bond or a white Jackie Chan or we rape Bill Cosby? Because guess what? If you're not part of the Sudoku, you're part of the answer. And it's multiple choice. And you're none of the above. And P.S., why do we even need superdelegates? Why can't we just talk to Superman directly? And I'm asking you, Michael, because hashtag black guys matter. <laughs> So real quick, I'm gonna sing you all of Hamilton. How does a bastard or fan son of a whore in the sky? Stop, please stop, please. Fine, but you could have learned something about him, Sri. Yasmin, Yasmin. Was that your friend? No, she's my Uber driver. I think she's circling the studio. How many minutes away is that, Sri? That's Tetris. Okay, fine, you know what? I wanna give you something. It's this knife I found at O.J. Simpson's house. <laughs> Wait, who do you think would play you in a movie? I don't know, maybe Denzel Washington. I would choose a homeless woman so she could work. But I'm sure Denzel would be appreciative, too. Wait, real quick. Wrap your hands around my neck like you're going to choke me. No. All right, fine. And just slap me really hard. It's about Wall Street. Just tell us who you're voting for. All right, fine. Here, hold this. Oh, look. This man stole my purse. And he's white. What? <laughs> Boom. That's progress. You're welcome. And I need that back because there's Adderall in there. Curl at a party, everybody. Vaccines are a scam. With the election only two weeks away, both candidates are trying to get a final message out there to their supporters. Here with her final thoughts on this election is the girl you wish you had to start a conversation with at a party. Okay, thanks for finally letting a woman on late night TV. <laughs> <laughs> so I assume you're not happy with the election. Here's a thought, Michael. Maybe try being woke for a change, okay? Because um, Kevin can wait, but Syrian referees can't, okay? A newsflash, Michael. 40% of children are just their legs. And I'm, that's according to doctors, Michael Che. Yeah, okay, can you just please tell us about the candidates? Please do not man interrupt me when I'm making a point, Michael. <laughs> this election is a misgrace, okay? This is a colostomy, Michael Che. And I'm sorry, if I can play devil's advocates for just a second, I think we all know the real reason Jillian Assange is in jail, and that's because she's a woman. Do you even know what women have to do when we go vote, Michael? We have to show our IUD. I'm sorry. That's outrageous. That's called a bubble standard. You know what I have to say to that? What? Bah. 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 What are you doing? That's an impression of you. Okay. Because you're a sheeple. Jesus. <laughs> 
Who are you going for? It's Halloween. I don't really dress up. For I'm Halloween. going as Justice. <laughs> David Justice. <laughs> the baseball player? Wow, so all black guys are just athletes to you. No, he played baseball. Oh, Michael, you just played yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. Sis! Sis! What, is your sister here? No, I'm calling out cisgender people out there. <laughs> I'm serious, Michael. I need to go to Cuba so bad before white people ruin it. All right, you haven't said anything about the election. Can you just at least tell me who you're voting for? How dare you? That's called voter insemination, what you're doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. My friend's blogs were right about you. All right. <laughs> you know what? Fine. You know what? Maybe I should just tell a joke instead, right? Since that's what this whole election is anyway. Yeah, fine. Tell us a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting polar bear. Interrupting polar bear. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Global warning. Already killed him. Now he stinks. He stink? Yeah, that's right. He stinked. <laughs> so why don't you just call me Samsung Galaxy? Cause I just blew your mind up. Bring out a party, everyone. Free